Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn physics from Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. Let's start today's remote learning with Do Now. If it falls, then why it doesn't wait, wait. hit and uh, hit hit on my head? I mean, Sorry, moon does not fall. No, no, some memories the answer. Then if it falls, we're gonna die. If I mean, and, oh, have you ever seen moon fall? No. Have yeah. you ever seen moon hit the earth? No, moon just is staying in the sky in the same place. Every this is completely not in the same. Place. In the same spot. Every night, the moon is in the same spot. I think this is hoax. Okay, when did they say moon fall? Moon yeah. doesn't fall. Yeah, but wait, look at. Well, we're going to look at this more in our uh, le lesson. Okay. So for our do now, we're going to have three pairs of circles. And uh, no, I believe these three pairs of circles are not randomized. So let's say this pair of circles is a small bit of distance between them. This pair of circles is a relatively large uh, distance between them. Talk about social distancing. Yeah. And this pair of circles has a very large distance uh, between them. So, according to this beautiful equation over here, what pair of uh, Mass, I mean masses. What pair of masses will be attracted to each other the most? Oh, Wait, the do most? they all have the same mass? Yes, they all have the same mass. We'll explore different masses in the oh, Can I try it first? Yes. So can yeah. you write uh, the distance? One meter, two meter, no, three no. meter? We're not experimenting with actual distance. Uh, okay. 
Adele mod in different mods. Okay, so it's very easy. I just copied this R2 bar and uh, 4 I have to rank what? Um, rank them by um, how strong their gravitational attraction is. Okay, so from uh, least to uh, greatest, uh, 1, 2, 3, because uh, this one is the smallest line, middlest line, longest line. Longer line, bigger gravity. That's how it works. Okay. Uh, you want to come up with Alex? Yes. Alex? This guy yeah. is wrong. I think um, the gravity oh. is, since this is D, the gravity is U's. And since this is. Uh, no, rank them. Rank them. Oh, okay. So, so I think. One, the, two, three. Greatest to least. Greatest, second greatest, and least. And so, it but, turns out Alex is actually correct. No, he's not. He put one, two, one. Jump block, Professor. And right big. I know the first satellite was Sputnik. Uh, Run by the SR.
2 squared is 1 over 4. So uh, usually FD is just M, right? Yeah. But here, one second left. now it has a 1 fourth multiplier since you're pretty distant from Earth. Uh, um, so 1 fourth MD. What usually happens is that you uh, um you only have one z and z so one squared is just one. So that one multiplier comes at z. It doesn't affect it at all because you know one is yeah. non valuable. So now plug in. What for Wait no, that's not how we should do it, right? No, this is how we do it. Oh. One four times two thousand is the mass of that massive GPS mm -hmm. that So five hundred? Times uh, nine point eight. Oh, so like so five thousand? Five hundred times nine point eight. And so you think that should be around four forty nine hundred? So Okay. I can accept that. No. Five thousand times nine point eight? Five hundred times nine point eight? Yeah. It's 14,800. Whoa, whoa. Oh, that's fine. Um, that's fine, go ahead. Yeah. So it's 4,900 Newton is the uh, force of gravitational attraction between the Earth and the Saturn. What happens between the Earth and the Moon is that the Earth actually attracts the Moon and pulls it in orbit. But since the Earth and the Moon's attraction can only get so strong, the Moon doesn't come crashing down to Earth. Mm. It keeps its distance. So the Moon is falling, right? No, it's falling, but Earth is, uh, but Earth gravitational pull isn't strong enough to keep it falling. Mm. So it just mm. rotates around in orbit. Oh, so it like barely skims up. Yeah. Okay. It's, 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 it's falling, but and then it's, it's just hit because Earth is round, Moon is round, and then yeah, it just uh, keep on cycling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because of the curvature of the Earth. So. Can we go home now? No. The lesson, in fact, isn't even over. Oh. Okay. There was another thing we want to do. So this is how the gravitational force is demonstrated in everyday situations. So say you have. Uh, there, you have two friends sitting next to each other on a bed. One is 50 kilograms and one is 55 kilograms. Mm. The 50 uh, kilogram friend and the 55 kilogram friend are talking with each other, which is why they are only half a meter apart. So, um, using this information, how can you find the gravitational force of attraction between the two friends? All right, so using the Newton law of the universal gravity? Yeah. Gm1 and 2 over r squared. Does anybody know what g is? Yeah, it's 6,200. Oh, so 4,900. No, 6.67 times 10 to the minus 34. Oh, minus 34. That's, uh, that's not even Planck's constant. Like, what? You asked for G. I gave G. you G. That's Planck's constant. That's Planck's h bar constant, which we're going to use way in the future, not right now. Okay, so I memorize everything and everything. It's 6.67 times 10 to the 9 of 11. Uh, I was close. No, okay. not at all. Okay. Okay. So, M1 is 50, M2 is 55 over R squared. What is 0 0.5 squared? You should know this one. Uh, point five? Yeah, point two five. I'm just going to quickly remove this point two five because it's ugly. So that would give you six point six seven times ten to make eleven times two hundred times fifty five. Can somebody calculate that? Here's the calculator. I got it, I got it. To anybody who's willing. Uh, what do we have to multiply by? I was willing. 
Um, so 6.67 yeah. times what? And then? Um, times 200. And then? Times 55. Got it. Um, uh, 7.337 times 10 to the minus 7. Oh, wow! And I declare myself 7.337 times 10 to the negative 7. Yes. You know, you, you could have actually... You could have actually done this. Okay, okay, perhaps. Professor, uh, is it Newton? Um, yeah, um, you can. Can we go home now? No, there's an exit. But we have to wait for Alex because apparently he decided to no, join the Alex told me that uh, you should keep going, Professor. No, um, Alex, Alex advised me that. No. Be patient, Omar. I know he's going to come back. He went to the rum goose and he's served to come back. He went to the rum goose. Okay, fine. Go home. No. See, he's back from the rum goose. Yeah. Professor, do you have... Right. No, I realize that education is more important. Yeah. So, uh, do you have like assistant, Professor? Yeah. Uh, in fact, we do. We're going to erase a bit of the lesson so we have space for that to sit. These two have mass M and they are, uh, they are distant R apart. Let's say this has mass 2M. This is 2R from uh, mass M. And then let's say um, this one is 2M. And this is 0.5 R from a 4 M. Thank you, Professor. So, yeah. Let's make the gravitational attraction of all the circles. It. It's very yeah. easy. All you have to do is look at the coefficient. 1 R means this will be 1. 2 R means that this will be 2. 0.5 R means it'll be 0.5. So, do you want me to go from least to greatest? Uh, okay, yes. Least, second least, greatest. Thank you. Wrong, wrong, wrong. It's an opinion, so. That, okay, uh, Alex, come on. Yeah. So, so distance is small. Yeah. So this one has a higher, higher gravity. Okay, higher. So I'm gonna say max. All right. So bracket one, two, three. One. Two, one. Two, one, three. Yes. Two, one, three. It's, it's hard to say, but Alex is getting as confused as I am. Wait, uh, wait a second. You should let's make it straightforward, not like that. And now the professor himself. Yeah, let's do the math. Okay, let's do the math. Do the math. Thank you. This is, we want them to be complicated, okay? Mm -hmm. So dm over r is the usual equation. R is square, professor. Oh, yeah, r squared. So that gives you this dm. They have the same mass. So g m squared over r squared. Now let's bring that compared to the other. So g m m over r squared is equal to d times 2m times m over 4r squared. Because 2 squared is, you know, 4. And d times 2m times m is actually 
2m squared. So 2dm squared over 4r squared, which would give you dm squared over 2r squared. Mm. And what about the last one? Which makes this actually greater. So, ah, that's correct. Yeah, that's you were mm. blindly guessing. That's the power of memorization. No, you didn't even get the correct reasoning. Okay, Professor, you're going to have to do the last one. No, Thank you, Professor. No, no, um, on the last one. Let's, right. let's see. Let's see how much bigger it was. So, that will give you d times 2m is uh, um, 2m is 2dm times 4m would give you 8dm squared over 0.25r squared, which would give you 32gm over r squared, which is really big. Wow. <coughs> Thank you, Bertha. Uh, thank you too for listening to me. Bye bye, Bertha. Bye bye, class. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.